final day of the trip, um, just woken up, a little bit hoarse, a lot, of, a lot of talking last night, a lot of drinking and a lot of talking, and um, we've got about a, I think about a 280 more day, maybe 285, something like that, day home. Should be pretty scenic, should be fun, um, hoping for dry weather and probably put the camera on the bike, get some uh, footage on the Blue Ridge Parkway. So stay tuned. So we stopped at a sick go, a sick go, which is just a bit off track actually for our trip. Um, it's quite an eventful day. Met um, Jess from uh, on her bike earlier, a uh, YouTube influencer, check out her. A website and uh, she's a really nice uh, nice young lady um, and uh, she was with a group of um, Motogutsi riders riding uh, Motogutsi supplied bikes to uh, a club and there's a couple of journalists and, and influencers there very nice lady so that was, that was nice and then we, on the Blue Ridge Parkway this morning I was going to do some filming but it was so foggy a little bit of rain wet roads and you could really, at times, barely see, you know, 30 feet in front of you. And uh, you're going through in and out tunnels and stuff. It's quite, quite dicey at places. But anyway, when we kind of more or less cleared that, funnily enough, um, Gary uh, dropped his bike. He's kind of... I think it'll buff out. What do you think? It's amazing what teacup can do. It is. Yeah, I, th I think that one's. Uh, I think that one's dead and buried. I think he was riding with his visor up and it got really, uh, you know, fogged up. And as he went into a, a corner, it dropped down and it kind of blurred his vision, I guess, or um, blocked his vision. And uh, unfortunately, uh, by the time he kind of sorted that out, uh, he was off the road. And unfortunately, it looks like the bike is totaled, but fortunately, uh, it looks like he is totally fine, which is the one and only important thing. Um, no injuries, although I'm sure he'll be a bit bruised tomorrow so we've kind of got his um, luggage on two or three bikes and he's on the back of Eric's uh, Monstrada Rally V4S probably the right bike to carry a pillion and uh, we're making our way home hasn't sport things too much for anybody uh, and bless him Gary bought us all lunch because he thought uh, you know he was quite in position but of course you don't care about that when you have a fallen fallen brother fallen more rider in your midst all that matters is that they are safe and sound so uh, I'm gonna continue on now I'm not sure whether I'll, I'll film anything on the bike or do uh, much more footage but uh, we've had a uh, really really interesting uh, few days away and I'd like to say totally uneventful but of course with uh, with uh, Bill's uh, battery on his monster strada dying before he could even leave the house and to get that replaced and then rush to the hotel where we were taking the short short as the crow fly route and then with uh, Gary actually crashing on Thursday on the way to the hotel and then with my bike uh, uh, dying yesterday with um, regulator battery type issues and uh, having to get that dealt with in by Eurosport Asheville and then uh, today uh, with um, with him crashing, it's, uh, it's it's been it's been emotional. It's been a lot, you know. It's been uh, a couple of breakdowns and a couple of crashes, including uh, uh, one bike totaled. So uh, yeah, hopefully the next uh, the next mini tour we do will be a little bit smoother. Well, 
as it happens, that is not the end of this disastrous mini trip uh, because you guessed it, bike has uh, conked out again. Um, power cut twice and uh, it restarted twice and then got further five miles up the road and just died at this gas station and um, it's completely and utterly fried. Not sure what's wrong with it. Um, either it's uh, Saturday, six o'clock, so nothing happening till Tuesday at least. Um, BMW recovery, not that helpful because they were only towed to a dealer, not to my house. So I've got to, in theory, leave the bike outside a dealership for two days on its own. I've got to leave the keys with it. Um, so even though my home is closer than the dealership and I'll, I would you know, accept responsibility for taking the bike to the dealership. Um, so what we're gonna do is gonna have it recovered, taken to the dealership and uh, my good friends Brian and Elaine who have a trailer will come and meet me at the dealership and then they'll trailer it to my house. And if need be, which probably will be the case, they'll trailer it to the dealership as and when they can look you know look at it so not so good um yeah not so good on a 2000 mile uh, 2024 r1300 gs um usually a paragon of reliability i've had 10 bmws never had a problem with them and this is a kind of net new bike and they often say don't buy a bike in its first year but i've done it many times and bmw usually stand good by their products i'm sure they'll um get this problem resolved i suspect it's um water ingress in the in the starter housing uh, or some kind of fusing in the starter housing the short circuit um rather than the rectifier battery that we thought yesterday the eurosport actually didn't know because it didn't show any error codes so if you have no error codes you've got nothing to work on but uh hopefully we'll get to the bottom of it uh you know in the coming week or so and i will keep you posted uh, but I'm really tired now and uh, had enough ridden about 300 miles today, six o'clock, probably gonna have to wait a couple of hours for the tow truck. It's gonna be a couple of hours to the dealer and then gotta go home after that. It's a long, long day. And, um, but that doesn't detract from the fun we had on the three days. We really, really laughed a lot and uh, some great roads. And um, I think everybody whose bike didn't break down or didn't crash. Uh, had the time of their lives so uh, that's the main thing so all right I'll uh, end this one here you have a good week